Today on AVP Live, we have Manu Anand, President HRCRC Group. Hello, sir. Welcome on live. Thank you so much. So, my first question is, what is your idea of smart life and smart living? Well, smart life and smart living living go hand in hand. Unless and until you have a holistic life and you live it to the fullest yeah. and experience uh, emotion in your home, you're, you're just तुम घर में रह रहे हो अगर experience कर रहे हो उस life को तो जी रहे हो That's our idea of it. Okay, and what are the current trends in smart home designs in India? Well, the designs, if I say yes, the trends are very different today. The youth are looking at luxury. The youth are looking at experience. The youth are looking at a stage where they can just call it not just a home, but uh, living in itself, as you rightly said. So the trends are dual income. Uh, youngsters coming up with disposable incomes, wanting the best of things, right integrated in their homes. Uh, so, what is the common client requirements that you face on everyday basis? See, uh, what we get is the location, the premises in itself. What is the experience that are going to get? The affordability of the client. Also, the need is whether there will be uh, the security feature, the privacy features, along with the smart home. How well we equipped that house is, and what would be the features that are there? That's the queries that we mostly get today. Any unrealistic demands? I would not call unrealistic demands today. The generation is well much informed. It's not just that a demand that we any demand that's coming from a consumer is a right demand. We will say, and it is the onus onto the developer that whether we are able to fulfill that. Uh, Demand. I would say it's a wrong word again, but the requirement. I would say whether we're able to fulfill that requirement so at the design stage itself is the onus on the builder itself. Or the okay. Developer. Okay. My last question is: How can smart home designs contribute to reducing the overall carbon footprint? A uh, very very challenging question to be answering at this forum, and uh, but yes, when we look at a carbon footprint that we, everyone talks about the emission, the norms, other thing, the building the smart home design right itself at the design stage gives us a way that yes, are we integrating and making it sustainable? Are we making it such a home that yes, it would be. Able to take the conservation and reduce the smart print. A very, very big, vast question. Maybe it's a debatable and a long term to answer. But yes, as long as we move towards that whole thought process of reducing the carbon footprint, every device that we use, every device that we integrate in our homes, if it is standardized and is working to the norms that are required for that, yes, we are into it. Thank you so much, Mr. Anand, for being with us. Thank you so much. For exclusive and insightful videos, subscribe to our new channel, ABP Live Premium.